Hello, beautiful ladies, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about powder puffs. Tati recently came out with her Blendiful, and I was really intrigued by it. She basically described it as a powder puff that's larger and has more surface area, so you can do your entire face and use cream products. I had never known you could use a powder puff for cream products, so I thought that was fascinating, but I did a little bit of research and I found online on Amazon that they had a pack of 10 for about $8. So I thought to myself, is a pack of 10 for $8 set of powder puffs going to do the same thing that her Blendiful would do? I didn't purchase her Blendiful, but what I did do was I purchased these and I kind of tried to use them in the same way and I had a really good experience. So I wanted to share with you guys how I was able to use these powder puffs and create a look that I absolutely love as well as save a little bit of money. So let's hop in. It is snowing like crazy outside. I can see out my window and it is insanity. So we're just gonna sit here with our cup of tea and <laughs> just get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to dip this into the primer. So it's a really interesting thing. The fact that Tati decided to come out with this Blendiful and it was like, oh my gosh, nobody uses this for, you know, people think of this as something that's for powder and she's saying, no, it's for everything and I'm going to show you how. I thought that was a really cool concept. But my thing was, if I can save money, why wouldn't I? So I wanted to see if I could find something that was comparable and I wouldn't have to spend $18. Now, $18 for two tools really isn't bad at all. So I'm not saying that's expensive, but I got a pack of these for $8 and I got 10 of them and her package is two pieces and it's 18. So again, I don't think that's a bad price, but I figured I might as well check this out first. Next up, I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal concealer and I'm just gonna cover up my scars, my acne scars, just on my face. And again, I'm just gonna go in with this puff. I'm gonna use it for everything, and I'm just gonna blend that out. So I'm just gonna tap this out. I'm really surprised because I didn't know how well this tool would work, and I didn't know if this was just something that Tati had come up with that would only work with her own product. But it's been a really interesting experience to see that even something that was only $8 and you got a pack of 10, does a really good job. I was able to do my entire face just with this and it makes things so fast and easy. So I'm excited to try and show you guys exactly how easy this kind of a tool is and how you can get it for so inexpensive on Amazon. Next up, I'm gonna go in with this foundation. You know which one it is if you don't know by now. <laughs> this is the Healthy Foundation by Physicians Formula. I use this pretty much every day. This is my absolute go-to foundation and I honestly don't see myself switching over anytime soon. I was curious to try the Maybelline Luminous foundation because hey it's winter time and my skin gets dry in the winter so I thought I was going to try that out and I'm seeing if my nearby CVS or Walgreens has a bottle of it but last time I was there they did not have those in yet. One of the things I've noticed with this tool is that it is so much easier when you tap and don't pull when you pull, I think this is going to end up sucking up too much product and you're not gonna get as much coverage from your foundation. So I'm just, you can see, I'm just really tapping this into the skin and I love the way this looks on my skin. It makes my skin look so, so natural. And like I said in my previous video, I've been using a lot less foundation than I used to. I used to really just pack it on and lately I've just been putting on enough to even out my skin tone and then just adding a little bit of extra coverage right at the end where I need it. Next, I'm going to go in with the concealer for underneath my eyes. This is also the L'Oreal Infallible, but it's a lighter shade and I'm just gonna do a little bit just in the center of my face to bring light to my face. And then I'm just gonna tap it out with this puff. So I'm really using this puff for all of my cream products. And by the way, you can see how far this concealer goes. It has so much coverage, so you just really wanna be careful when you're applying it because it can end up going further than you might expect. <laughs> so how have your winters been going? I feel like the time between Hanukkah and Valentine's Day is kind of endless. It's so cold and you don't have a holiday to look forward to that kind of builds up in the same way. 
And it's been fun because there's been a lot of snow, and I actually prefer it to be cold and snowy than cold and dreary and just rainy um, because at least you can play in the snow, and snow is so pretty at least the first few days after it's fallen before it gets dirty. Before I finish up all my creams, I'm actually going to set my under eyes just so that I don't get any creasing. So I'm just going to take this puff like I've been using all over the rest of my face and I am going to pat this Lift and Luminate powder underneath my eyes just to set that down. Next up, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick and I'm just going to draw a line from the top of my ear down towards my mouth. I'm gonna go a little bit down the sides of my nose and I like to shorten my nose a little bit so I put a little bit of shadow there. I'm gonna do a little bit of contour around my forehead and I'm going to, secret trick, actually I think I learned this from Tati and when Scott Barnes was on her channel, I'm going to use this around the edges of my lips to make my lips look bigger and I tap a little bit of foundation over that so it doesn't look too crazy. Now I'm just gonna use this and I'm gonna tap this out. Now this I think you can like tap and pull a little bit. Um, you don't wanna pull too much because you don't wanna move around your foundation, but just to get a cleaner, more blended line because when you're working with contour, it's easy for that to look harsh. So today I'm really focusing on my skin. I'm really not gonna do anything complicated on my eyes or on my lips. And I just really want to take the time to use this to show you how you can use this to make your skin look fresh and almost like you're not wearing makeup, but without taking a bunch of time, which is a really, really nice thing. So as you can see, this is blending out really easily. And another cool thing about this, I did try it. I was able to wash this and I did that in my sink. Apparently you can try and do this in the washing machine. So if you're interested in trying that, you can. But I just did this in the sink with some soap and it worked really, really well. Dried out, no problems at all. So you can keep it sanitary and reusable. I'm just gonna quickly do my eyebrows. Obviously I'm not gonna use the powder puff. I'm just gonna use my pomade with a little brush. I'm just gonna fill in those spots. I'm trying to keep this pretty natural, so I'm not gonna go too heavy on my brows. I'm just evening them out. Now I'm just gonna take some of this brow gel and I'm gonna put that through my brows just to hold them in place. And I'm just gonna use a spoolie and clean that up a little bit. Now we're gonna go back into our cream products and I'm going to take the puff and I'm gonna dip it into this cream blush. This is the Honest Beauty Cream Blush. And you can see just how prettily this applies my blush. It's like the most natural flush. I love the way this looks. You can see the comparison there. And it's just the nicest tool for this, I think. I think it's like the easiest tool I've used to apply blush and contour. And the last cream face product we're going to use is this highlighter from Wet n Wild. So I'm just going to draw this on here, draw it on here, a little bit here, and use this to blend it out. In honor of talking about Tati's Blendiful, I'm gonna be using her palette. I'm not doing anything complicated at all, just dipping into some of her matte shades and adding a tiny bit of definition to the eyes. I'm really not trying to do a uh, big eye look right now. Like I said, I just wanna focus on the skin. So after using the powder puffs that I got on Amazon, I would say I'm not gonna order a Blendiful. I think that these tools though are an incredibly quick way to do your makeup and it makes your face look really flawless. So I am really excited that I at least learned this new technique for applying my foundation and my cream products. And I hope you guys try it out yourselves. Let me know if you do. And if you guys like it, let me know if you would like to see more tutorials using a powder puff. And that's the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please subscribe to my channel and my blog if you haven't already. Head over to my Twitter and Instagram and follow me there. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.